Hi everyone, my name is Irina and in today's video I'm gonna show you how to create this fun lemon animation. Let's start now. With a studio pen brush and a yellow color, draw an ellipse and then fill it. Now let's copy the layer and finish the shape of the upper half of the lemon. Go to the colors, pick a white and then drop it on the inner ellipse. Now make the layer a little smaller. For the second half, we're gonna draw a new ellipse and then make a new layer to draw the body under. Let's copy and recolor the inner part and also make it a bit smaller. Don't forget to lock the layers and then create a clipping mask to start the shading. Here I'm using my texture paper brush. You can make your own by following the instructions I wrote for you in the description box. Of course you can use any other texture brush. Just keep a light hand and don't push too much the pencil on the screen so you'll have more control. To see what color I'm using, always look at the circle on the upper right corner of the iPad. And if I'm moving too fast for you, feel free to pause the video at any time to catch up and press play whenever you're ready. Now we'll make a new layer to draw the inner part. Don't stress too much about making it perfect. You can always reshape it with the transform tool. You have several options here, but I chose warp. Now let's add some shading with white and orange. I find it easier to make the slices by erasing the top layer instead of drawing a new one. Two finger tap to undo in case you make any mistake. That's the shortcut. Connect the pieces together in the center and add a touch of dark blue shading. Now let's make a new layer for the seeds and put some shadows and light to make them look good. Don't forget about the shadows under them, I'm using orange and dark blue here. Now we have to repeat the process for the other half of the lemon. This one looks bigger on the screen and also is closer to us, so I'm paying more attention to the shading and using multiple shades. Let's add some reflective light and a touch of white to add more volume. Some more shading on the inside. And then we'll just draw the middle part where the slices connect and fill and shade everything. Modify the layer transparency and we're done. Ok, now that the illustration part is done, it is very important to merge everything on a single layer and then turn on the animation assist. This is where the fun begins. We're gonna draw the animation frame by frame and layer by layer. Just remember, every single layer will be a new frame. You can either touch add layer as I do here or new layer on the layer menu. It's the same thing. Also, you can group layers in a single frame. Now tap the settings on the animation assist tool to set the way you want to see the frames on the screen. Here I'm using maximum onion skin frames with a 60% opacity. M 
now would be the perfect time to check our animation. I like it, so we'll go further to add volume and shadows to the drops using the same technique as we did before. I don't want you to get bored, so I'll skip to the last frame. Just press play and enjoy your new animation. If you wanna see more videos like this one, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on the ring bell button so you'll be notified every time I post a new video. Give it a thumbs up if you like it and leave a comment down below to let me know what you think. Thank you!